Master the modal using may in passive voice. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into the wonderful world of English language learning. Our focus for this session is intermediate grammar, specifically the use of may in the passive voice. By the end of this video, you'll be confidently identifying and using may in the passive voice. Before we jump into may and passive voice, let's refresh our knowledge of the passive voice and modal verbs. In English, we often use the passive voice when the focus is on the action, not who or what is performing the action. On the other hand, modals are auxiliary verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. May is one such modal verb. May is generally used to express possibility or permission. In active voice, it looks like this. Possibility. The package may arrive tomorrow. Permission. You may enter the room now. Notice how may is followed by a base form of the verb. The formula for using may in passive voice is subject plus may plus be plus past participle. Here are some examples. Possibility. The package may be delivered tomorrow. Permission. The room may be entered now. The main verb is in the past participle form and be is added after may. Identifying correct usage is all about spotting the formula. Check if the may is followed by B and a past participle verb. Incorrect usage often misses B or uses an incorrect verb form. Correct. The letter may be written by him. Incorrect. The letter may write by him. The second sentence is incorrect because it doesn't use B after may and the verb right isn't in the past participle form. And that's a wrap, folks. We hope this session on using may in the passive voice has been informative and helpful. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try using this structure in your daily English conversations or writings. Until next time, happy learning and keep practicing.